Are you tired of high food costs? Are you concerned that your sales could dip? Do you wish every cook made your food items the same way each and every shift, no matter who's cooking? Have you ever rehired a cook and heard them say, that's not the way we used to make this? Hey there, Restaurant Pro. This is Dave Scott Peters, restaurant expert, coaching creator of the Restaurant Prosperity Formula. Whether you answered yes to one or more of these questions or not, you're going to want to listen in as I share with you my top three reasons you need to implement and use portion controls in your kitchen today. First of all, I get it. Many restaurants don't want to slow their ticket times down with a bunch of portion controls on the line. I hope to change that thought process right now because here are my top three reasons you need portion controls in your kitchen's line right now. Number three, making training line cooks easier. See, it's one thing to say, hey, I need two ounces of something. I need, uh, you know, six ounces of something. It's so much easier to put a two ounce ladle in that sauce. It's so much easier to get a cup that fills by volume five ounces or a scale with a bowl on it where you can throw fries in it, say, and it weighs five ounces. You're making training easier because instead of having to really try and eyeball or calculate things, it's simple. It's this process. It's this system. It's this way. Number two, you're going to lower your food costs by executing your menu items following the actual recipe costing cards. See, we're not overusing product. We're not underusing product. But if we use what the recipe says it is, we should hit our target food cost. And number one, you're going to have increased sales due to items being made consistently. There are many chain restaurants out there that are good, and there's many, many more that are awful and that have lines of people behind them. Why? If they suck, why would they have lines of people? Because they suck the same way every single day. And it's that consistency that we drive into our customers that they can believe they can get the same dish. It's not large one day, small one day, salty one day, not the same item every single time. Then they will come back more and more often. So by implementing these Porsche controls on the line, we're making sure the guest has a consistent experience driving customers back over and over again, increasing your sales. Something this simple can have such a huge impact on your food cost. Because I want you to think about this. For example, if you calculate your ideal food cost, that's based on actual, up-to-date, accurate recipe costing cards, add to it your product mix from your point of sale system, that's going to tell you what your food cost should be in your restaurant. Ideally, a perfect restaurant, no waste, no theft, no spoilage. Again, a perfect restaurant, which does not exist. And let's say we take that product mix from your POS system, your accurate up-to-date recipe costing cards and what you sell it for. And we come up with your ideal food cost of 30%. Okay. 30%. That's what your ideal food cost should be. You're never going to hit that. Uh, a rock star chef or kitchen manager is going to be one and a half to two points above where, by the way, on a side note, a typical restaurant without paying attention to all the things that I preach can run seven to nine points above ideal on a routine basis. But let's bring it back to that 30%. So my ideal food cost is 30%. Now let's say your kitchen over Porsche's well, items by 10%. Naked eye can't see 10% more French fries, 10% more shredded cheese, 10% more lettuce. You get the picture. When you see something that's too large in the window, in that pass, you go, whoa, fix that. It's probably 25% or larger of a waste, like just way too much product. So think about this again. If we can't see 10% over portioning, because we're not using these other controls, people are using their hands, they're eyeballing a scoop, whatever it may be. We over portion by 10%. We take that 33, that 30% food costs, jack it up three points to 33%, right? 10% of 30. So I want you to think about this. Let's see you're a restaurant that does $1 million a year in food sales alone. Forget about bottled beer, draft beer, wine, liquor, anything else. $1 million in food sales a year. That would equate that 3% of just a little bit over portioning, 3% to higher food costs, 10% each plate. That would equate to $30,000 a year in waste. So if you need a reason to implement portion controls in your kitchen, I just gave it to you right now. 
Be sure to join me live every Friday at 8 a.m. Pacific time on YouTube, Travel Schedule Permitting, where I'll get you pumped about the upcoming weekend, get you excited about crushing your goals and finding the motivation to be best you possible. Plus, I'll answer your burning questions live.